Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create your first application using Oracle Visual Builder in Oracle Integration. I'm here in the Oracle documentation. I will give the link in the description. Before developing an application, we'll create a, a business object first. Then I will show you how we can make use of this business object and we'll create a page and application, build an application uh, with the help of the business object. I'm here in Oracle Integration. As of now, I don't have any applications created. For that, what we can do is click on this new application. We can provide the name, employee, details, app, description if any we can give. If we want to change the template, we can click on this and select the template from here. There is a Visual Builder cookbook for this. We'll discuss what this cookbook uh, is all about. And there is this SAS extension, which is the, based on the R13 Lite theme. Uh, suppose if you are developing an application uh, which you want to embed in Oracle SAS application, then we can make use of theme so that the feel and look of the page will be in sync with Oracle SAS application. So as of now, we'll keep this empty and click on select. Click on this finish. You can see the bunch of details uh, on your uh, welcome screen, how we can connect to data using service connections, create an app like mobile apps, getting started, few things. If we hover over the these icons, if you see this first is a mobile application, second is a web application, services, there are business objects, components. From this, you can uh, install this uh, Oracle Jet components from here. I will learn uh, all those things uh, going forward. There is this processes. There is a source view for this application. We'll learn all about this later. Click on this business object. In order to create a business object, click on this plus business object give the name i am giving the name as employee database click on create go to fields click on this plus button and add the fields first i am creating a field as name name of the employee create field click on the plus button give the field as date of birth and this should be of uh, type date click on create field click on plus field here we have to give the employee id it is of type number click on create uh, we have added name employee id uh, date of birth click on the plus field here uh, we will put the salary and this should be of type number click on create field we can go to data and check uh, the fields what we have added we have added the date of birth we have added employee id uh, we have added id and the name in order to add details of a uh, few of the employees what you can do is click on this row button first it is asking for the date of birth uh, let me give the date of birth as uh, today september 1st 2021 this is just a sample data employee id i am giving as 101 name is raj salary is 200 dollars Click on add row. I'm adding one more employee over here uh, with date of birth as 1st October. Employee ID 102. Name with salary as 300. Add row. Suppose if you want to add one more field over here, we can go to these fields. Click on plus. Create field and give as manager ID. We can give. Click on create field. Go to data, go over here, click on this edit symbol and uh, we are giving a Raj, manager of Raj is Raj himself, click on save and manager of Abhid is Raj. So I am giving uh, Raj employee ID, click on save. We are done with our uh, data object creation. In our next video, we will learn how we can uh, build our application consuming this uh, uh, business object and create the forms like creating a new record, deleting a record from this uh, business object, uh, weaving all the records in this business object as a web app, all those stuffs we'll learn. 